Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Sheree Gibson. We begin tonight with more from David Hammer's losing faith investigation of the Catholic Church's child sex abuse crisis. One of David's stories led to new allegations against a previously accused priest. And yesterday, the Archdiocese added the late Robert Cooper to its official list of credibly accused priests. And today, David has more details about a priest who is still living, who the church is naming publicly for the first time. Tim Trahan came to the Archdiocese of New Orleans 13 years ago and accused two priests of molesting him when he was a student at St. John Prep in 1976. Church leaders said they believed him and agreed to pay for his therapy. But 11 years later, when Archbishop Gregory Amon released his list of local clergy credibly accused of sexually abusing minors, the priests Trahan accused, the late Robert Cooper and Luis Fernandez, were not on the list. I'd like them to have to answer to why they neglected to put the name on the list. After we and our partners at the times Picayune New Orleans Advocate told Trahan's story in October, another St. John alumnus came forward alleging Cooper molested him too. And this week, the Archdiocese announced it had moral certainty to add Cooper to the list. All I wanted was to be recognized as legitimate, and I felt illegitimate. The church also announced this week it was beginning a formal investigation of Fernandez. The only way that the Archdiocese comes forward is, is due to public pressure individually or through the media or the or law enforcement. But in the last few months, the church has started naming accused clergy before allegations were made public. While addressing Cooper and Fernandez, the Archdiocese also announced a formal investigation into allegations against another retired priest. Joseph DeWater. DeWater was a leader in the New Orleans church for decades. He started at St. Henry, uptown, in 1968. In the 1970s, he served as the Archdiocesan Director for Catholic Girl Scouts. He served at St. Francis Cabrini in Gentilly, Our Lady of Prompt Succor in Chalmette, and as the pastor at Immaculate Heart of Mary in New Orleans East for 15 years. In 2003, the gymnasium at Immaculate Heart of Mary was named for DeWater. That parish and school were torn down after Hurricane Katrina. We still don't know what the allegations against DeWater are. He is 85 years old, lives in Southern Holland, and could not be reached for comment. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. The Robert Cooper, who was added to the list, died in 1989. He is not related to the living priest with the same name. Luis Fernandez is living in Miami, and David reached him by phone back in October. He referred all questions to the Archdiocese of New Orleans.